Welcome to VLSI lecture series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakia, is going to explain you Boolean function implementation using dynamic CMOS in this video. We have already studied dynamic CMOS and it's working in my previous video. Here in this session, we will implement Boolean function using dynamic CMOS. So one should know the basic structure which is there with dynamic CMOS first and then based on that basic structure we will be going to implement boolean function so let us see the basic structure which is there with cmos so in its basic structure here we have vdd supply and with vdd supply we have gated clock pmos so here we have gated clock pmos after that in dynamic cmos there is pull down network and pull down network that is made up of nmos with that there can be many input as per boolean function so here there will be inputs and after that there will be gated clock nmos so here we have gated clock nmos and then we have a ground and we take output from this terminal so this is how basic structure is there with dynamic cmos now when you want to form boolean function then here we have pull down network in that we are dealing with to form boolean function so in pull down network we have nmos structure and for nmo structure there are basically two operations that we are little bit to perform one is dot operation and second is plus operation dot operation means ending operation and plus operation means or operation in case of dot operation nmos should be connected in series and for plus operation nmos is connected in parallel so this is how basic structure is there now let us have a question so here we have been given with one question in that we are a little bit to implement boolean function so let me write question over here so here we have question function f that is a dot b plus c plus c dot e right and that is what we are a little bit to implement by using dynamic cmos so as i have explained you basic structure first we should be having vdd supply after that we need to connect gated pmos so here we have gated clock pmos and then we have pull down network and that is made up of nmos and for nmos dot operation is there with series and plus operation is there with parallel so here you see we have a dot b plus c right so see this a that is there with dot operation means series operation of b plus c so here i have input a and then series of b plus c is there now you see b plus c with plus operation n must should be there in parallel so b plus c that is happening as per parallel connection so this is what a dot b plus c now plus operation is there plus c dot e so for plus operation there should be parallel connection as per nmos so here there should be parallel connection and in parallel connection c dot e is there so c dot e means series connection so here we have c input nmos in series with e input nmos so that is how pull down network that we have and after that we need to have gated clock nmos so here i am going to connect gated clock nmos and then we have a ground and this is what pull down network and output that should be there from here so this is dynamic cmos structure which is there with this given boolean function 
right now let us have one more question so that will resolve your understanding furthermore so here our question is now we are dealing with to implement this function so as per the basic structure first we will be having vdd supply over here then gated clock pmos that we need to connect and then we have pull down network now see in pull down network we have nmos and a plus b so for plus operation nmos should be there in parallel so a plus b that we need to form so here a and b is there in parallel then dot is there dot is there in series so here we should have series connection then c plus d is there so c and d that should be there in parallel so here we have c and here we have d and mos in parallel then plus operation is there so plus means parallel connection so here we should have parallel connection with this entire structure so this is e which is there in parallel with this and this is how we have complete pull down network after that we should have gated clock and mos so this is our gated clock p mos and this is our gated clock and mos and then we have a ground and here we take output from this terminal right so this is our boolean function implementation using dynamic cmos so here there are few points only which we need to focus about see vdd supply is connected with gated clock pmos and ground is connected with gate, gated clock and mos and in between that there will be pull down network and in pull down network and mos is there for dot operation and mos should be there in series connection and for plus operation and mos should be there in parallel connection and once you do that parallel and series connection you will have to form this circuit and output that we need to take it from this terminal right above pull down network we need to take output and we can have a resultant dynamic cmos circuit i hope that you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions matters to me and based on that in future i'll be going to make videos which will be solving your queries so please do give your valuable suggestions thank you so much